Many Olympic athletes have been on a campaign to let other athletes know it's okay not to be okay. You'll remember at the Tokyo Olympics, Simone Biles shocked the world when she withdrew from team competition. Biles hit a tipping point when she experienced the twisties. That's a term referring to a mental block when a gymnast loses control of their body in the air. Biles is now a mental health advocate and she's not alone. Chris Egan explains in tonight's Journey to Paris. Standing on a platform 32 feet above the water can be a scary and lonely place. Olympic diver and shoreline native Katrina Young has been doing it since she was seven. If you do the dive right, it, it feels magical. You, you kind of feel like supernatural in the moment. Now, if you do it wrong, you definitely feel superhuman. <laughs> a little bit more on behind here. Olympic athletes spend thousands of hours practicing and trying to perfect their craft. That's a beautiful dive, seven and a half. Physically, they are some of the most gifted athletes in the world, but they also have to have a strong mental approach to the game. Honestly, it's a constant battle. Every day I'm working on my mentality, I'm working on my mind-body connection. It's something that I have a team around me helping. But somehow you are behind her though. Like, I have so many people that encourage me. Super talented. I mean, you're absolutely amazing. You know that. Thank you, baby. I literally have a huge team that's always inspiring me and encouraging me. Katrina knows she needs balance when she's diving. I can feel your hand. But more importantly, balance in her life. You don't love me. She says you have to believe in yourself and love yourself no matter the results. I think the biggest message that I take from pushing myself is being my best self. Besides just comparing myself and competing, it's about becoming the person I want to be. And to do that, I really have to show self-care. And the first ever Olympic gold medal in women's canoeing goes to Nevin Harrison in the United States. In 2021, Nevin Harrison won a gold medal in Tokyo. Ready, up. The Seattle native is back to defend her title in Paris. And while she suffered some injuries along the way, she also knows about dealing with mental struggles. I remember in Tokyo when I heard about Simone Biles and I don't think I fully understood it. I think it's because I never experienced a level of spotlight that she did. I find myself lucky enough to never experience that level of spotlight still, but the amount increased and then I realized, oh, that's what it feels like. That's what she was going through. Being vulnerable, having conversations about mental health, Nevin wants everyone to know it's okay not to be okay. Like you don't have to have this plastic mold of yourself 24 seven because you think that's what you need to do. I think it's all kind of a process of really good days and really bad days. And if you expect perfection every single day, you're never gonna get that. I think it's just about doing your best and showing up every day and giving it your all. The International Olympic Committee has launched a mindfulness program providing 2,000 licenses to athletes for the Calm app as a day-to-day -day attempt to support mental health and well-being. A mental fitness helpline will also be available for all the athletes in Paris.